This is a duck in ducks like math. Thank you, little duck. That voice you heard, that was my daughter, Amelia. Amelia, say hello. Hi. All right, here we go. We have a video called How to Cross Cancel or How to Cross Divide When Multiplying Fractions. Here we go. We will start with this beautiful fraction, four fifths times three eighths. Now, we are going to do the first step in this problem just like normal, just like normally multiplying a fraction. But let me tell you first, cross dividing or cross canceling is the process of simplifying the fraction before the multiplication. Our first step with this problem is to multiply and we go straight across. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 8 is 40. Look at these two lovely numbers. Both 12 and 40 have a common factor. They're both even, so we know they're divisible by 2. But there is another factor, 4. Now we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 40 divided by 4 is 10. That's it. Our fraction has been reduced to its lowest terms. Now let's start back at the beginning. And we are going to cross divide this time or cross cancel before we multiply. It's going to be so awesome, so great. Let's write that fraction again, but a little bit larger this time. 4 fifths times 3 eighths. Look at the diagonals. 3 and 5 have no common factors. There are no steps you can take to cross cancel here. But look at the other diagonals. Both 4 and 8 are even, so we know they have a common factor, at least one common factor, and that's 4. 2 is a common factor. 4 is a common factor. Use the largest common factor that you can, so obviously we'll use 4 here. Divide. Get ready. Buckle up. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I would like to cross this off, and you see that 1 is my new numerator. 8 divided by 4 is 2. I'll cross that off, and you'll see I have a new denominator down here. Now we can multiply again. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 tenths. If you remember, we got 3 tenths on the fraction before, um, and, but now we didn't have to reduce our answer because it was already reduced as we cross divided or cross canceled. I hope that you can see how cross dividing is a beautiful process. Thank you very much.